Hello and good morning and welcome to um, How to Create Your Colourful Life, um, Hangout number two. I'm really, really proud of myself to be here today and also um, thank you for joining me on this journey. And um, today we are going to be talking about how to begin to uncover your core. And something that we all go through on our journey as a business and life owners. And today I'll just be going through the steps um, that I've taken myself and also those that I work with um, my clients on um, you know, how you go about and peeling those layers um, from yourself to actually feel like you're the true person you are, which um, in turn will then make you more highly productive. So, um, if I just, for those of you who haven't um, or don't know me or haven't met me before, um, I'm just going to share a little bit about um, my journey and how I got to be here today. And so, um, I um, have worked in many industries, which is I now have realised is a massive bonus. Um, and I've worked in um, uh, McDonald's, I've worked in telecoms, I've worked in community for charities, in um, education on a quite high level and um, all of those things that I did during my time with all those industries were all related and it wasn't until recently that I worked out that it was the systemizing and the compiling of information and, and, and creating efficiencies within businesses or programs or, or whatever I was working on was the thing that really made me happy and made me buzz and obviously is my star thing to do. Um, I haven't had it easy. I, um, <laughs> like many of us, we've all got a, a story um, of, of our of trials and tribulations of getting to where we are and um, I'm not going to go into those too much today. I'm just going to let you know that um, for me, I'm passionate about helping you implement systems in your business without losing your personality. And that's um, women entrepreneurs that I mainly work with. Um, but I do work with professional services as well, chartered surveyors and solicitors and accountants um, have been known to employ me to um, get them systemized with a bit more fun. So um, that's, that's a little bit about me. Um, like I say, my, my real passion is the systemizing with personality and not losing sight of the person's true core and who they are in order to um, create and be successful. You do not need to lose who you are, you do not need to be put in a box and you do not need to follow someone else's system. It's a system that needs to be created especially for you so that you can get to reach your goals and dreams um, to live a colourful life. Um, so today we're going to talk about uncovering your core and the, the reason that I'm sharing this with you today is that I think a lot of us um, struggle in business when we first get and decide, you know, well oh, actually I think I'll run a business, but all of us know what it is we actually want to do or who we actually are or we may have been so lost in our previous world that we've forgotten that we're Sam or we've forgotten that we're Claire or Isabel or, or you know or Amy, whoever whoever you are, um, you know you've forgotten what your true core is, or you know that you lost it somewhere along the way while you were stuck in a corporate job or stuck, you know, being in a horrible relationship or um, you know stuck in your own in your own way, which whichever one of those things it is, you know. You, I know personally that I, you know, I was in a really bad relationship for a long time, and um, it was during my twenties and thirties, and those are pivotal points in your life where I think you discover um, certain things and 
um, you know, you, it, it's a proper foundation for the rest of your life. And I missed out on all of that. I learned, I learned, <laughs> I learned how to be quiet, and I learned how to hide away. And that they they weren't really going to help me going forward, and they didn't. So it's taken me um, nearly ten years now to get from that place and uh, and peel the layers to get to a place where I can smile every day. And and, and it's really important to me that I help others do that. So one of the thing questions I sort of mentioned when I was um, putting my messages out uh, this week was a lot of people do not get that the reason why they they haven't mastered their time yet, why they're constantly in this struggle, and it, and I was talking to a lady this week who was mentioning that she you know she she gets up one day and and sometimes it, you know she just she just wants to have a duvet day and or she wants to um, do something completely off the wall, which whichever one that is, and it was making her feel like she was lazy or um, that she you know she wasn't doing what she was supposed to be doing. But I I obviously said to her that you know what you do on a daily basis is for you. If you need a duvet day then have a duvet day because that day out, that time of rejuvenation is vitally important for you to actually um, be able to cope with all the actions you need to take in order to reach your dreams and you will not, you know, you can't you can't use a computer without plugging it into the energy, you can't use your phone for more than a day without plugging it in to something and we're no different we need an energy source in order for us to be able to do all the million one actions we have during a day. Um, so reasons why you haven't mastered your time is that you haven't discovered how your your level of high performance, what you need to do in a day in order to reach that high performance. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just checking my microphone. I should, should do that more. And um, so, why haven't you mastered your time? The chances are that you haven't found your true high performance system that you need to um, play out on a daily basis, and that's going to be different every day. Um, and the other reasons is that you're trying to fit yourself into a box, and it's not your box. That you haven't mastered your time because. Um, you haven't um, got the right tools in place, the right backup, the right support, the right services in your business, the right social freedom you need in order to rejuvenate. You haven't got any of those things. And um, and that is a critical part of mastering your time. And until you get these things in place, sorry, I just have light on my face because it's quite dark, but it's, um, it's burning my face. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, mastering your time is something that takes us, most of us, a lot, a lot of time to achieve, um, which is unfortunate. But we mustn't, mustn't get stuck in the fact that we, we're not doing what we want to do on a daily basis. If you're not ready to achieve that, then give yourself a break. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, and you may be feeling like you're banging your head against the wall on a regular basis. Now, the first thing you need to do is just step back and think about what you're doing around like, around like a headless chicken. Um, what, um, you know, what, what, how do you feel when you do something that goes against the grain for you? How do you feel when something actually happens for you and you feel ecstatically happy, you're energised and you know, and it's all about following your time and understanding what you do on a daily basis. And I'm going to share some tips with you today on on how to do that. So, if you feel like you're going the wrong way, up a one-way street, um, I think it's important just to reconnect with yourself. And I think last week I was talking about going out in nature. And the lady who I was talking to this week, actually, she's saying since she's been going out to nature more and spending a lot of time, she comes back to her office or home and 
and within hours she's so powered up that she creates the most marvelous things and that is just the magic of um, getting plugged into nature and the energy it results in um, so you know that is a, that is a critical thing and something that you know I will be talking about more because I think we forget about the outside world and we're in Britain we, I don't know if you're all in Britain in Britain we don't get the best weather um, that's not actually a reason not to be outside you know being in the rain is actually quite magical when you get your wellies on and your raincoat and um, and go and have a splash in some pedals with the kids or just without the kids um, you know that's that's really 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 a good thing to do um, So it's really important to create your own personal system. So one of the things that um, I find really vital now um, on a daily basis is is writing a journal, and um, I've been doing that now for probably about eight months, and I think I've seen the biggest shift in myself my business since doing that um, and um, I, I just never want to give up it's like I write three pages every day of whatever pops into my head and sometimes I have the most amazing ideas um, let me see the, my, my journal here it's a massive thing um, I started off the year by just writing some promises myself um, so I've got some keywords that I took from 2013 to bring into 2014. Excuse my doodles. I'm I, I used to be able to draw. I don't know what happened. So my words for this year were energy, loyal friendship, courage, discipline, growth, honest, experience, leader, advancement, good, and strength. And there's a few sort of like extra words in there which are sparkle, beautiful, and divine. And I chose these words actually based on a card reading that I did. Um, I wanted to know, I wanted some guidance on what kind of words and things I need to focus on this year. And I thought, you know, I don't really want to make resolutions because they don't stick. And, you know, you make promises to yourself for life. So this is this is my guidance for the year. So that I everything I do is filled with energy. I'm courageous. I build loyal friendships. I'm Every day I'm growing, I'm leading people um, that who want you know who resonate with me and who want to um, be helped or, or do things in the way that I do them. I'm disciplined in the way that I manage my time. Um, I gain experience. Um, everything I do is from a good place and with heart. Um, and that some things I have a few more adventures. I you know I get to sparkle. And that actually, you know, truly, everyone's beautiful inside from the core, and um, to remember that really. Um, so that they're the sort of words that I chose this year, and the words that I brought in from last year, which I think were, I found were really invaluable to me. The lessons that I learned, and I, one of those main things with persistence. I'm in no way giving up um, what I'm doing, and um, I'm just going to keep doing it until it works. And, um, and and I think that's sort of being rewarded now, that persistence, because I feel like there's people out there that I'm really talking to that I'm, I've got connection with, and that makes me feel really happy. Um, gratitude, I had a massive year of gratitude last year, um, and I want to keep that because I'm truly grateful for all the people I've met, the experience I've had, bad or good, and the fact that I'm still... Um, plowing away at running my own business nearly five years on, four years, five years. Um, and faith, faith in myself, the fact that I can heal and release things and belief in myself, which I think I finally do um, believe in myself that I can I can do it and I've you know proven that with clients. Um, and and it's just reminding myself that I actually have had really good results for my clients and um, and that's fab. But no, just I literally I write in my diary, or journal, whatever you want to call it. I started off like with a little bit of a theme, so I'd say what mood I was in, what kind of weather was like, 
you know, um, what else is said for? Um, what I should do today, my intention, conversations that had annoyed me or haven't annoyed me and wonderful and the things that I wanted to remember and not forget, experiences that I'd had, you know, and then what I was grateful for every day. And then I, yeah, I do loads of doodles and just, it's amazing just what, like, comes out. Like, we just end up drawing loads of things and patterns and, um, you might think, why are you sharing this with me? I just want you to to try and write a journal if you don't already. And those of you who do write a journal will know the benefits of writing a journal. Um, just try and write a journal 10 minutes every day. While you're eating breakfast, if you if you have to, because I know I've got four kids and I know what it's like in the morning, you can't always fit in, fit in time to um, you know, do everything you want to do. I think it's just making a habit of it and then you'll see the importance of it and then you'll you'll make the time to do it. But until you've gone through that process of the awakening, the, which is one of the steps in some of the, the things that I teach, the second step is awakening and that's that's after you've made some discoveries, you think, oh, do you know why why wasn't I doing this? Or that's why I that's why I don't get that's why I don't choose this and that in the day because I haven't done this and since I've been doing it I've seen massive changes so the, there is that, that discovery stage and practice and then you awaken and realize whatever you're doing it's a new habit it's actually a habit you want to keep um, and that 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 and until you get to that realization that awakening you won't continue, you won't have any chance of continuing with the new habit. So it's important to just at least try something for, you know, a period, it's usually 21 days, but, you know, just keep going every day. Just make just make it something you do while you're eating breakfast um, so that you're doubling up the time. But once you get to that stage of awakening and you realise that the, the, the journaling you're doing or meditating, whatever you choose to do, is actually achieving something, then make it a morning practice. And that means that it comes before breakfast, it comes before anything else you do. If you can get up before the kids do it, I, I generally do the kids run and then I come home and I have like half an hour or an up to an hour to myself where I go for a run and shower and I do journaling and, and have a leisurely breakfast just to get my, myself started for the day. and. And that made a massive difference. And I only get two days of work a week. The rest I'm with um, my four-year-old um, for three days a week. Um, so I have to work around that as well. Um, where's my... I just wanted to say that I, I can colour in. <laughs> I think, yeah, I sort of plan out websites. I, I just jot down things and make flowers and I always draw flowers and um, I just just get oh that's a like colour your crack so I, I there's something I'm gonna do in a, in a little while it's called colour your colour your crap and um, it's about language changing and it's something I want to talk to you about today actually because I think one of the one of the things that we do and I I, um, I get this from my husband sometimes, and he talks about something. I say, "Why are you so negative about that? Why, you know, what, what, why can't we achieve such and such? You know, what, what's stopping us, <laughs> really?" And um, and so one of the other things that you know um, is a really good task to do, and I always say to people before I start journaling, you know, um, is to get a big piece of paper and do a brain dump. Um, so, so again, you know, instead of getting rid of your <laughs> stuff in the toilet, you get everything out of your head onto a big piece of paper, do a brain dump, and just write all the crap down, whatever comes into your head. And then there may be that you realise there's this negativity within that stuff that you've written down. And um, so maybe you're feeling frustrated and focused, dull or un uninspired. So you want to flip that conversation around in your head and create a little bubble um, when you write 
positive words in so you completely rewrite your feelings and um, use that as a, a, something that becomes a practice for you so you'll notice yourself saying oh, I'm no good at that or um, I can't do that or you know all those negative um, connotations that you use on a daily basis you're gonna you're gonna flip them. You're going to watch yourself doing it and you're going to rewrite it down on a page and you're going to create your positive little your positive little black book if you like and and that that you know that just just notice the words that you're saying and how much that changes um, you're 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 going to the, the reason why I'm talking about these things is not like just to rant and overload you with things that you can do and try um, because whether you do the journaling, you do a brain dump, you do the flipping the words, you know, just take one of them and, and this is how you peel the layers, you know, trying one thing at a time and really seeing it through and committing to it because doing these little changes is taking you on a journey to your core and that once you're there, you're never going to find they will. You probably know that. I'll flip that. <laughs> you and so many other people out there find their call on a daily basis, and that's what makes them light up, and that's what makes them passionate, and that's what makes them achieve. Um, and there's a lot of people, I think if you hang out online quite a lot, you see these people that seem to be doing really well. There's only so, so there's a handful of people that I've noticed anyway really shine to me, and that's because they truly believe in what they're doing and they're passionate about helping other people. And whatever your core is, taking on the journey, taking on a brain dump and getting rid of all the crap and flipping it into um, positive um, affirmations or just something that you can um, keep an eye on yourself. Um, you know that they are going to help you take tiny steps towards your inner core, and I know that because if I haven't done all of these things with myself and clients, I wouldn't be sitting here today saying for you to try them. Um, I spoke in my blog this week um, about my productivity personality, and. Uh, the reason why I share this is um, obviously you can go in, um, on my website and go and um, download it. And I created that because the key thing when I started my business was, like I say, I I didn't want to be black and white, black and white, black and red, whatever. I I wanted to be completely full of personality and and bring systems out on a completely different level. Um, I want people to embrace systems and be empowered by them rather than running away from them and thinking, oh, I can't bother with that. So I I found that the first steps um, I take my clients through had to be always linked to scheduling productivity and that was the first sort of system that I would um, work on implementing with them because without that scheduling and that commitment to how you're spending your time, the rest of it doesn't really follow and um, it's about taking action after all and understanding where your love-hate relationship lies with running your business and um, what elements need to be done by someone else and what elements need to be done by you um, and what you're prepared to give up really. Um, uh, and that preparing to give up happens over a gradual period of time. And it's not until we've actually started to do that that we realise and learn that that's the best way. But everyone needs to start somewhere. So the reason why I, I mentioned the personality is because if you understand the little things, now let me just just call the. I start to show some of the things on it. The productivity personality is um, a vital tool, really, for 
understanding and realizing what kind of um, style you need to approach and um, take on board um, with planning your time. And everyone um, reacts in different ways. And within my personality, I have an explorer, educator, analyzer, and peacemaker. And each one of those has something different about them that means that they're either an ideas person, a people person, they love to learn, or they love to think a lot. Um, and where there's bonuses within that, there's also um, things that cause us to focus so much on that special thing that we're good at. Like for me, and I, I think way too much. I talk myself out of things, I stop myself from doing stuff because I'm so good at weighing up pros and cons of a certain situations and therefore if the cons sort of outbalance the pros, then I probably make a decision not to do something. But on the other hand, that's also a really good thing to have because I can see the difference, the pros and cons of, um, of a solution or of a process or of, of a business idea and, and then work through it so that I can create and help somebody create it and design it um, and definitely implement it. Um, and the, the, the core of you, that core, that specialness, and I think I was talking about scattiness last week, whether you're scatty, whether you're an avid learner, you read loads of books, whether you um, analyse every detail, whether you put people first, they're all really important to you. That makes you who you are. And instead of ignoring that fact, saying, I always, I always do things for others before I do things for myself. So ignoring the fact, it's like that second part, the awakening part, and making yourself aware of it. Um, and therefore, adjusting slightly, but without taking away your true core. And, um, and that's, how, that's how I work with my clients, always, always. Um, take a look at their personality first and make sure that everything we're doing is incorporating um, that into a way that they can work efficiently and effectively without losing their personality traits. So when you take the productivity personality test, you um, you are given a, a somebody that you really work well with and that's for different reasons and obviously like someone like me who's um, who's an analyzer, needs to have someone that's a little bit more outgoing, so perfect match for the explorer, and then the, the people person is a perfect match for the educator, purely based on the fact that um, the uh, peacemaker will help the educator socialize more, and they can both have some really, really amazing collaborations um, through, through their actions with education and the love of people. So there's there's it, it's really important to have that understanding of, of your of your personal system. And although I've I've sectioned that personality into four um, four people, if you like four characters, there's always that little bit of educator in you. There's always that little bit of thinker in you. And it's just knowing where those strengths are, so that you can use them to your best advantage. And um, having a buddy or a mentor or something alongside with you understanding that will therefore help you create that that schedule um, routine and um, that's not necessarily in a box that will work for you and make you a highly successful person. Um, so that's why um, all these elements um, are what make you um, productive in a smart way. You you need to declutter, de-junk, de, de fear, what wh whatever it is that you need to do. You, you you have to get rid of that in some way. So that's journaling on a daily basis, meditating or brain dumping, whatever whatever's going to work for you. You need to clear the decks in that way. Um, without fail because if you're carrying all that old baggage around with you then you've got no room for the new stuff 
um, and that goes in your health, in your brain, in, in, in life in general, your money, um, you know, your relationships. That there's certain elements of those that need to be cleared out if they're not working for you, you need to find a way for them to work or that you know that it's the time to say goodbye to the item, person, the fact that you're in debt and you need to sort it out and that you need to get your head or head screwed on and, and, and start focusing on monitoring your money, whichever, whichever of those things it may be. And um, so that is a key step for you. And it's something that I do quite heavily in the first instance on my balloon program, um, which um, is starting again in a couple of weeks. Um, so that's 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 like weeding the garden. Um, that's how I discuss it in the balloon program. So it's weeding the garden, or you know, um, to cut over the house, whichever. whichever. Um, and that's 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 a smart thing to do to help you make you more productive. Um, the other thing is is actual then preparing and planning, and and that is making time for yourself in each each part of the day, in some part of the day, to plan tomorrow, to see what's gone well, to look at what hasn't, and wonder why, and ask why, and see if they can find a solution for that. Um, knowing what's coming up, keeping on top of that, to as much as you can. But also when you're planning in your time for taking action, that's making time for working on your business, making time to be with clients, making time for marketing, making time for family, that you know you have planned that ahead to a certain extent, you know where you lie, you know that if you've got a deadline that you can um, fit all of those things in easily and still have some time for you. Um, so yes, there's planning, and then you know there's looking at the support that you need, your team. Um, that's that's a step that we all we all forget about, but we can't do everything on our own as entrepreneurs. We think, oh, we're like superheroes or whatever. I know when um, I'm just like to read Virtual Freedom by Stucker. I totally recommend it. Um, Anyway, his opening statement is, is amazingly fab. Um, it actually talks about um, Spider-Man and when he was bitten by the spider and how he realised obviously the consequences of him trying to be the do it all and all and save, save the city. So you don't want to reach burnout and you, you have to remember to take that time out for yourself and get support in team. And that can be anybody, that's family members, that's a VA, that's just having somebody to talk to, a listening buddy, uh, whatever, you just, you need to have that. You cannot do this amazing thing and share this amazing gift you have for the world if you do not get the support in place. It just will not happen. And, and, and I, that is a guarantee. You will not achieve everything you need to achieve without somebody being there to support you along the way. And then, the other way to be productive is obviously to look at how you can systemise things, how you can um, leverage your time by whatever repeated tasks that you do, that they are automated, that they are written down, that they are easily passable to somebody else that can do them in the same way that you would do them. Um, so this is this is where the sort of love-hate um, uh, task comes in and you literally write a list of everything you love doing in your business and what you hate doing in your business and why and there may be a little bit of like in there that you can probably keep for now but generally you split it into two makes it really really simple black and white to to identify the stuff that you really love and then the stuff that you hate that you're going to start delegating out you know you, you've got to do it you've got to do it um, and because those tasks that you hate, that you resent, uh, are going to drain your energy. And your energy is your most important resource because it keeps you going. And you are the most important thing in your business. And without you, there would be no business because you are your business. Um, so there's, there's this there's a team. And then there's the, the social aspect of of business that's communicating with potential clients, communicating in the community, 
and that that takes a lot of energy to give all of yourself to keep a regular blogger to keep popping into groups to to go out and network to to then be socializing with family and friends and just talking to people on a daily basis and sharing your brain this draining of energy is also lifting I know I was talking to somebody this week and they were saying that they find that working on their own is, is not a productive thing for them. They have to have somebody to bounce off, which is fab, and, and, and we all need that at some point. Um, you know, we can't just sit here on our own, in our, inside our own heads um, all of the time, um, and that's something that I've learned the hard way. Um, it, it, sitting in your own space means that your ideas can't be realised. Um, you definitely will not be re-inspired by your own thoughts on a daily basis. Um, so, and the other thing is how you how you look at how you service your clients. So, um, with your programs and your um, actual one-to-one -one services. You know, how, how are you going about that? How, where are you spending all your time? What, you know, what, what are you doing with your time? Is it actually conducive to actually quality time with your clients and quality time for you? Um, and then one of the biggest things we all need to learn is that we can package our knowledge in a way that can be accessed by numerous people who value our knowledge and we can do that online programs or group workshops um, and by doing things like this by uh, sharing Google Hangout um, and you know just talking about stuff that's, that's in our head and hoping that um, there's somebody out there who finds it of value. Um, so I think I just want to round up really um, it's really important to me that, that I, I try and share as much stuff and what's in my head as possible. But um, I think at the moment and past two hangouts, I'm literally just sharing quite a lot of information. And that um, there's probably something that you want to know more about um, in a more detailed way. So perhaps uh, specifically you want to know more about how, how you can create services or um, specifically how you can create more social time, um, how you can get support or how you can systemize your business. Um, and what I'd really love is that if you are listening to this live, then please do um, pop some questions in the Q&A at the right and let me know um, if you've got any questions. I'd really love to hear what you've got to ask. Um, if you're listening to the replay, then please, by all means, um, email me at team at the Savvy Systems Company .co .uk and just head it live hangout and ask me a question and I will either answer it in next week's hangout or I will answer you personally so that um, it depending on the question, just let me know how you want it answered or you want me to personally answer it or whether you would love to be able to sort of me sort of share the question um, without mentioning your name in a hangout and um, uh, if you're happy for me to share your name that's fine um, to to see because if you're asking the question then there's probably about 100 other people who want to know the answer to so please 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 do ask questions um, and, and going forward your questions will formulate the content from my Google Hangouts so um, you know like I say, team is not just family, friends, and a VA or, or a marketing support. It's you guys too, um, and I need to bounce ideas off uh, with you so that I can really support you and give you what you need. Um, so, so that so that is the gist of being productive in a really um, smart way, and when you implement. And, and start to gradually implement all these things, specifically what I talked about at the beginning about journaling and, and if, uh, that is that is how you're going to uncover and, and peel away 
the layers of crap that you've built up over the years that you're going to de-junk the things that are holding you back. Um, and it wasn't quite so long ago that there's no way you'd get me in front of the camera <laughs> and get me talking to you. And I'd be like, totally, oh, I can't do that. Even though I've stood in front of crowds of people and trained people and groups and of all ages, um, which I find pretty normal to do, um, just sitting in front of the camera talking is like, uh, can't do that. Um, so I wanted to give you, so what I'm going to do actually, um, because I'm so um, I'm thankful and grateful for you being here and sharing um, your time with me, um, whether it's live or on the replay, I'm going to pop out some tools just to you guys who are in my Hangout team um, that will help you um, over the next sort of four weeks. There's a... Um, as a four-step process that I take people through. And I'm going to give you some of my worksheets um, that you can work through over the next four weeks for free. Complimentary to say thank you. Um, so just make yourself a note of that so that I remember that we do that. Um, so I'm going to take you through the Discover, Awaken, Taylor, and the Evolve process in a really simple way. It won't be as in-depth as um, I do with my clients, but literally you have four worksheets that you can use over the next four weeks to um, to basically see how that helps you, and so you can make those discoveries, become aware of them, and then tailor some things. And also, the evolve is all about the practice and the habit and making things happen on a regular basis and just committing to it. So that's what I'd love to give you. Um, I probably get told off doing that because you're not supposed to give too much away for free. But actually I'd just really love for you to do that and then come back to me and share um, those steps. I've probably released them over a four week period um, just because I don't want to overwhelm you either because you know, one step at a time is really important. Uh, some water. So I'm going to brown this up in a minute actually because I think um, an hour is a little bit too long for me to sit here talking to you randomly and also for you to take out of your business. So I'm going to take it to 45 minutes. Um, uh, so, um, So, so basically today we've discussed how to begin to uncover your core and I've shared with you some of the things that I've done myself and that I share with clients and the date, the four step process discover, awaken, tear and evolve will, will really help you unfold that um, on a level of, of, of um, strengthening your productivity which I believe is the essential foundation for doing anything else. Um, you've got that mastered or, or, or even um, as an apprentice, <laughs> then it is going to support you in a really fabulous way. Um, but I think, you know, I, I, the, the journey to uncovering your core is a very personal one. And, um, do you know, last year I, I thought and felt that I would never get out of a week <laughs> on a day to day basis without having a day where I would think, oh my god, just crying into my desk and and feeling like, you know, I'm hopeless and I can't do this and I, I can never see the light at the end of the tunnel. And everyone says, No, you will, you will, you will, and you think, No, I won't, I won't, I won't. Um you do, you do, and like I said, I'm just so grateful for people who've helped me um, get to a point where I'm now okay to be on my own and I can see that what I'm doing is really important and that I do it well. Um, and that I've, I've become my own master to a certain extent. But the truth is that I have really uncovered my core and 
I'm just so excited for the things that are happening over these next few months um, that I will share with you um, in a couple of weeks. There's some new things happening and some changes. I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not stopping this. I'm not. There's still a massive element of the colourful life that is a very important, very important part of my life and my what I want to do and share with you guys. But there's some other things and some very important things that have happened lately that it's meant that I have realised that team is important and that I don't want to sit here on my own um, anymore. And so. I have um, made a partnership with somebody else and we're doing some exciting things and um, she is currently whizzing off um, meeting people today to make that happen. So um, it's very exciting stuff and I will be sharing with you over the next few weeks some changes um, to the Savvy Systems Company but not the colourful life that's staying, that's, that's truly where my heart lies, um, but I've, I've, I've realised that in order to serve everyone in my community, there needs to be um, something more than what I'm giving at the moment, so, so that's what's coming, I'm really excited to share. In the meantime, like I said before, my Bloom programme um, is something that I'm really passionate about because it's a really accessible and affordable way for you to access um, your very own, I say operations manual, but it's your bible, your business bible if you like, for your business and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, I think I'm going to start it on the 30th of June, I think I put the date for, 30th of June at the starting, there's already some um, people booked on and so I'm really looking for a smallish group of about six people um, because I want to be able to give my time um, quite quite intensely on this, um, this, 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 this few, first few times that I'm launching this programme out um, because even though I've set up all the processes and, and, and the trainings within there it's the feedback that I'm going to gain from you guys as we go along the journey um, is going to form um, the the the, uh, the updated versions going forward and the back, you know the, obviously the, the back versions and so I can truly support everyone. Different things will come up with every group as well because everyone will have different needs. Um, so it is just a massive learning journey as well for, for me as well as um, it will be for you. So Bloom is all about running your business in a practical productive and passionate way and um, it's, it's, it's really um, for me to be able to empower you to take action um, in your business newspaper um, to take action in your business but have all that support systems practicality scheduling um, the technical side of things all the really simple things that you can do in your business in order for it to work for you and that you work for it, that you will have that time, that release time to be able to go and focus on what you truly love to do. So I'd, if you really want to go and check it out, um, it's on my website and if you go into the services um, button, you can um, just check, check, click on it and it will come down with the services, but Bloom's at the top. Um, otherwise you go to www savvysystemscompany.co.uk um, forward slash bloom and it will take you straight to the page and it will give you all the details in there. Um, there's some fab bonuses um, as well. There's um, a, a complimentary ticket to my uh, live event that's coming up um, and also an extra um, coaching session with me as well because um, like I said I really want to support as much as possible and within the group there will be calling you know call-ins and questions and Q&A's and everything and a uh, Facebook group to support you um, but you literally will have the templates there for you and um, that, that you just need to fill in um, and I'm really gonna make this easy for you that every element of your business that the, you know the, the finances the um, you know how to look at your finances, how you um, create um, 
customer service, you know, follow-ups, and, and, and all those those kind of things will be um, included, um, and you will have your own little business bible, personal to you, by the end of the eight-week period. Um, and there's a there is a payment plan as well um, there, so it can do things in a bite-sized way. Um, and like I say, I've made it really accessible and uh, affordable, and I'm going to do it in a very supportive way. So um, there will be videos of how to do things specifically on a computer, so you can do step by step. You know, um, I've got this thing called Screencast, which is amazing. It records your screen. Um, uh, while you're doing a task, so I can actually show you how to set something up in Mailchimp. I can show you how to um, schedule Facebook posts or, or what, whatever it is within the technology that's freaking you out. Um, I can show you how to do that. I can. I will have um, uh, maps and flowcharts and and everything else that you need in order to create the documents that you need um, in your business to help you and so that you understand your process and how you need to um, relate with clients but also it's basically your little document that you can share with somebody else that means that they can run your business for you in your way um, and that's, that's where I want to get you at um, to the point where you're um, being really supported and so you can fly. Um, so I'm going to round up now because I think that's um, I think we've we've we haven't covered your call a little bit, um, and I'd really really love you to put me a question or just let me know um, if anything's resonated with you today, so that um, I know that um, what what we're talking about is relevant for you and that it's been valuable. Um, so could you please, um, like I say, put me a, an email to team at savvysystemscompany.co.uk and let me know if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, um, that's fab. Um, also, please check out my Bloom programme. I think if you're feeling like um, you're lost running your business and you're not really getting out there doing your thing, then it's perfect for you. Um, and like I say, there's already a couple of people booked on for this uh, next run, and um, I know that people have already found it really invaluable. Um, so please do, please um, just go and check it out. Um, if you want to, um, if you're interested in it, then we can, um, and you just want to have a chat about it, then please pop me a mail and um, I can have a call with you um, and we can talk about your needs and see if it's right for you. Um, that would be fab. Um, and there's no obligation. Um, once we have a chat for you to, to book on, um, there might be something else I do that would help you or I might know someone else who can help you. So I'm more than happy either way um, to make sure I put you in the right direction. So um, thank you for joining me today. It's been fab. Um, and I, I think I've realised myself there's a few things I, I need to um, refine with my Google Hangout. But I do hope you found it of interest and value and that um, something you can implement today. Um, but yeah, please just um, don't have a fabulous day. Enjoy your day, plug into nature, do some brain dumping and really, really go and begin to uncover your core. Um, have a fabulous day and thank you for joining me. Take care. See you next week. Bye.